Okay, welcome to episode four. So, let's get started. I don't know what I'm going to draw now. I want to do an exercise with a... Uh, you're supposed to draw a few items a day. And then make something new from those items. So I thought maybe, you know, just some basic cups or something. Something simple. You know. And then the bottom's going to be rounded. Um, you at least see this cup in the middle. Uh, that line will be thicker. It's closer. This line will go around a little bit. And then come back. Yeah. Anyway, so there's there's one. So let's add some detail to it. So we'll just swing a line through it and we'll add some leaves. Yeah. Might as well, right? And that would swing around back and around here and attach. But let's actually let's actually swing it around back. Yeah, because you wouldn't see that part. And this would be tiny. And they would probably be just as close together. So let's. Make sure the spacing's right. And of course the line's not gonna be that thick because it's farther away, so uh we'll just uh, we'll just eh, we'll leave it. But we'll fix this bit here. Okay. And then here would be Just the bottom of the glass and a bottom rim. Ah, that's a mess. Is it going to do it? Yep. Okay. So I don't know. So I'm using an iPad with some audio gear hooked up to it so I can paint and procreate and record at the same time which I didn't know you could do which is pretty wicked um yeah so that's a mess you can already see here ooh, that it's not nope come on go away so it should be more like this yeah Anyway, that's the first one done. Uh, let's see, what else are we going to draw? Let's draw a really tall cup. And then round it down there. And we will erase this bit because it's just a plastic cup and this should be like this because it's rounded but we will fill it with something what should we fill it with ice cubes yeah let's fill it with ice cubes and then uh, the rim would be around here, so we'll have one more here sticking out. Uh, nothing serious, and then we'll just color this liquid in like it's tea or something. Okay, 
That's not quite right because it would actually go all the way around here. Um, so. Anyway. That's two out of three. Um, basically, I've just got to look around the room and find stuff to draw. So I'll do a cup next. This is one of my favorite cups. It's a Japanese stall cup that I've never seen before. Um, sorry for all the arms again. I'm still... I gotta get rid of that. But these are live, so... It's a little harder. Though I suppose I could edit the audio, but I'm being lazy. Because it's, it's actually recording straight to video. Let's see. So it does have a... Does have a swirly pattern, uh, and then we'll say way back here is the dual handle that I really like. Yeah. Okay. So we've got these three drawings. We will make them smaller, move them in closer, and then I've got to make something from these three. So, I think what I'll do, there goes the heating again, sorry. Um, I think what I'll do is this. Nope. Problem is I have to keep moving the iPad or, or my wrist because I broke my wrist when I was younger. And it doesn't draw straight anymore. Like when I was younger. Okay, uh, okay so we've got this and this. This and this. Make that line dynamic. We'll add we'll add that for the handles. We will add this just because it's there. Okay, and then we're going to go with wrapping it in leaves. And I might as well just add a third here because it's like... Who cares? But what we're going to actually do is do a series of them. Okay, so we'll put a floor out. Um, we'll put the floor down. And that's going to be a crystal, so we'll Crystallize it. These can be stairs. Ooh. These can be wraparound stairs. Let's see. Yeah, we'll make this an altar of some kind. So we'll have a little perch here and then it'll go like this and then it'll go like that with more flowers the goal is just to be spontaneous And you can you can do a line weight version after, but I doubt I will with this. Uh, let's give this some texture in the background so that this pops in the front. So we'll we'll destroy that corner. And we'll destroy this corner. And maybe some of this bit. 
And then we'll just draw more lines. Oh, why does it? All oh, right. If you lean the, the pencil over, it gets wide, and I, I hate that. There goes my dog. <laughs> um, anyway, so you may not, you're maybe asking like, where are the cups and stuff? Okay, so we've taken the leaves. We, we'll do a different color. We've taken the leaves, added them there, and we've taken this cup and added it there and originally we took these and added them here but we changed what it was so it's just a little bit different but you don't you can use whatever you want to build anything so I'll color it in real quick um, let me just get rid of these green lines if I can What color should we make our crystal? I like green, but the leaves will be green, so what plays off green? Orange. So we'll make it uh, relatively orange. Well, that, that'll be the light facing orange, so we'll make it here. And then we'll go to our airbrush, hard airbrush. Yeah. Actually, that's the light facing side, isn't it? Whoa. No. What? Again? Okay, that's fine. Okay, crystal does glowing. Uh, we will have a dark side, so that goes down. Well, that actually would be down here. So that would be this bit here. And you, you're like, why isn't it, why isn't it, uh, getting hit by sun? Well, it is. So you're right. So let's just change the color a little bit. But it's still going to be different. Okay. And then we'll do the stairs. I should erase those lines, actually, and clean it up a little bit. Let's do that real quick. Oh, they could have been a rope bridge. Let's put them back. Let's make it a rope bridge. Uh, let's see, can't be orange, has to be brown. We'll make it small. Yeah. And it can be rough because it's like, who cares? They're old. And then it's going to go up here. And then this is going to go up here. And I'll have to put some nails on the ground. Or maybe some stakes or something. Uh, let's put some stakes in the ground. Okay, so there's that. Uh, hopefully I'm not on the wrong layer. I'm not. So, new layer. Let's paint the concrete. But let's make it sort of green. Sort of green, yeah. Just for the stairs. Oh, what am I on? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Four fronts lighter. Um, I'm going to have to repaint half of this. 
I'm just being dirty. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So there's that. So we're going to come down half a tone. And we'll do the shadows. Just real quick. Um, I made a mistake in there, you'll see. But who cares? Okay. We'll just fix that real quick. Uh huh. Okay, so what do we want the background to be? We want it to be darker and darker. So we'll go to a new layer and we'll bring it. Yeah, it's behind the stairs. So we'll just color that in. Oh. Do we, do we want it lighter? We could have the altar be lighter. I don't know. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it makes the... It makes the, the stairs pop, so... That's good enough for me. Okay. Yep. And then one more layer. And this is actually going to be quite a light, so. Ah, oh, I have to go back down. Do I? No. Do I? No. Yes, I do. <sighs> Gotta be careful with your line work. Okay, that's the darker shade, so we'll bring it up a touch, and then we'll paint over this. Um, we're going to have to do the accents on the, uh, hmm, yeah, so it's a lot of green, I know it's a lot of green, so we'll make this, like, a very bright green and we will go to our layers and we'll get in close bring that down yeah we'll just make it bright because it doesn't well okay we can make it bright on one side and then when it reaches the next side we have to dampen it but I'm, I'm sure you guys all know this or folks know this. Uh, let's see. So we'll just dampen it a little bit. Because it's darker in the shadow. Okay. And then we're going to take the highest value... And we're going to just fill this in because it's just some random vine. Okay. So we went from, oh, well, let's color the ground. So everything's green there. So let's offset that with a brown. Um, big we'll go here we'll add a layer we will move this up and zoom in hopefully my hands not shaking too badly yeah it's shaking pretty bad oh well we'll just get rid of that white spot okay So I hope this works, because it doesn't always work. Okay, it worked. All right, and then for the 
I should have, what I should have done originally for the background was do this. But I can't actually see that. It, it just kills everything for me because I use a dark color for my drawings. I can do a light gray, but let's just make it a blue. Because um, basically the drawing is done. Yeah. Okay, so here it is blown up. Here are the three reference images. Uh, one, two, and three. And then uh, here is the playback. Should have used ice cubes somehow. That would have been cool. But see how you can use everyday objects just to make whatever you want? It's kind of fun. Oh, that's a very green background. I thought that was blue. Bummer. Oh, well. Anyway. That's it for now.